I wish you for an answer for you. We'll be a by inductive so send that they are the can where the answer with me in your subscribe button so don't subscribe enough while like it now with me. I send with your comment to us in a bit. Hello, it's your boy Captain to the planet. I'm here to talk to you about Unidec TV. Please subscribe to Unidec TV. Subscribe. Asemwa abaga nendea um, eda igaso. E ye, the Supreme Court, there are interesting issues coming up. In fact, NDC for no asha siye kasa omo whip. E kan se wedye, e jise judges nanga saba e ba be ye, e ye omo be implementi omo rule no. Um, Mati also from e ye Mahama Yariga who is also one of the, I mean, top personalities among the NDC caucus. And also, as someone walk and say, Abamba ben be to me aside, say these judges for contempt of parliament. Because Emratre say, Obia knew who was to me chair parliament to move Juma Womonye. It is a Supreme Court, no, it take a decision, say, and actress, a judges never saw more trace, say, or move Busa Ambrane so. It is Abamba ben can cite them for contempt. That would be very interesting. But, um, Okuja to a black one, so, and also, Nin semwa wa de baye and se wababe posti one of the judges are and there wamutina case ne so five judges eno mutina so. Now one of the judges are okuja twa black wa ebabe posti no no e ye e MPP ni e ye jaja on the ticket of MPP in twenty sixteen no person co parliament in the name of MPP. And Okuja Toba Ababe posting in Funia, Watro, a Kufuado nominates MPP's 2016 parliamentary candidates to Supreme Court. Inti, or you one of the judges, sir, and there were Motina case, they saw, M. Sawamudi ruling Abanti, and also crap up of a different case, Abasa, eh, so you shall share with you the identity of the judges there. Now you are quite 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 saying, in fact, judge will input here on the ticket of MPP, not a so-called parliament there. And the ABI and someone cross work, no, ABI be to me, I am the query, say judges near biased. But I want to read something. Nti na meka se bebi a wo bia no nya konwa na te na se me be kenkan how it led to president Ekufuado to appoint Sir Jajwe. Senior your president Ekufuado e ba be appoint Sir Jajwe. Let's go into it now. Mama mo ati ase say what I like e ye say someone who documents things. Nti na maka tem se manasi azori book a wo troy e about president Ekufuado a book no or troy no or title no the president Ghana never got no maka tem se sa book no me ni jeho and i i want a lot of people to start doing that se obi aba no ba be rule a let us start documenting some of the things the person did nti e trim man so ba no mo hu ni se asume si o bentin wo ba ye de o ye ye ni na okwa manasi azori ni book no a wa title no the president Ghana never got na okwa ko he Page 161, chapter 17. Title was say, How one Supreme Court judge was appointed to appease another. In this judge here, and the Okuja to a black wababe expose, say, Were one of the judges are more tenor case, Nesono. Ye be ready from Manasi Azori, the enam so a president Ekufuado, a babe appointed, sir, MPP presidential candidate, we, say, Wombra Supreme Court. Yen King Kang. Or see, me read it. In, a, in September 2023, the chiefs and people of a Butia traditional area in the whole West District of the Volta region held a deba to honor Justice N.S. Yao Jehu for his elevation to the Supreme Court of Ghana. In this, Justice N.S. Yao Jehu, and Okuja to Black Wababe Pustino. Or see, Justice Jehu had been an active member of the governing MPP. In 2016, he was the MPP parliamentary candidate for Ho Central. When he lost to the NDC candidate, he remained an active party member until September 2020, when the president yanked him from the political arena to the high courts. Coming at a time when the judiciary was under attack for being predictable in political cases, the appointment of a partisan man onto the bench attracted biting criticism. The president's critics said he was sparking the courts with his cronies. Yen King Kain. Oh, see, but that does not stop the president from elevating Justice Jehu 
to the Supreme Court less than two years after his appointment to the High Court. Into President Ekufado in 2020, and appointed the NDP Equal High Court exactly two years or some so elevating you no know, and then the Equal Supreme Court. A young girl for one say, Hey, two years been the Kukodi or High Court, two years now, what called Supreme Court. I just say, Yes, the links more she. But there is a story behind it, and Manasseh has already wrote the story. I say, it also did not stop the chiefs and people of his hometown from celebrating him with a deba, a respected retired justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Jones Maulom Doche, was a keynote speaker at the event. In a GBC story about the event, Justice Doche is captured in a photograph presenting what appears to be a certificate of citation to Justice Jehu at the ceremony. Justice Doche's presence at the ceremony was not a coincidence when Justice NSJU was called to the bar in 2000. I say it was not coincidence. Actually, say another judge or why if no Justice Doche, I will know Justice Doche no work retirement. It ye who ne say wo program as ya yes celebrity sa a pape ya president ekufa do na ko Supreme Court no na ni chrome for a ye program or mo celebrity say ya appointing it to the Supreme Court. Inti ye hun ya ye celebrity no no. A ye kon hun a retired judge. Se onon so ewa hono. A nyen krofo wan wan. Di enti ana nyen krofo wan wan. Yen ken kany. O se, when Justice Jehu was called to the bar in 2000, he went to work in the whole based Maulom Chambers under the leadership of Mr. Jones Maulom Dochi. He managed the firm and was immersed in MPP politics when Mr. Doche was appointed to the High Court in 2002 and to the Supreme Court in 2008. And you see, Sir Jaji, President Ekufa Dodeniko Supreme Court, now Oshe, Mr. Justice Doche, as it. Now, we Juma or Justice Doche, as it. Embra, now we are MPP, still no. Now, so we Juma, a war, a Justice Doche, as it. Now, see, Justice Jehu is a protege of Justice Doche, but that is not where the story of the two former and current Supreme Court judges ends. So, Tremu say, Ye can sa judge a present a kufa do man appointment na. Na chese na kola ene ye justice do cheno. Na kola direct eno no. I see, insiders of the MPP say a kufa do appointed justice do chess protege to the Supreme Court. Now tia say the reason why President a kufa do appointed pape to the Supreme Court. No, I see, insiders of the MPP say a kufa do appointed justice do chess protege to the Supreme Court. To placate the retiring judge who had lost out twice on Ekufado's radar for top appointments. Yes, see, didn't you President Ekufado air appointee? Sir Judge is on Supreme Court and they say, President Ekufado, a promise Justice Doche, said Obama appointment Mienu two times. And that on President Ekufado, because Nadan for Pani Justice Doche. So promising to say, oh, my baby, that the president did a memo appointment. But some appointments now occur so be man in Nano, two times in Nano, a failure. In Tina Afe, I was a president, a coup for the Ebefa, the Asiduceno, Nakola. Now, one man appointment rather, so that's Justice Duceno, the Nibeji, a bayonet, they say, oh, at least a coup for the Anyama Mekra, Wayama Makola. And that, as Manasseh's book says, no, is the main reason why President Ekufado appointed. Sa MPP Papay a call a year Supreme Court. Or see, my mentor story no so. Or see, in 2019, when Justice Sophia Ekufo retired as Chief Justice of Ghana, Justice Jones Doche and Justice Enin Yebwa were the main contenders for her replacement. The two had been appointed to the Supreme Court in 2008. A more serious, uh, sorry, a more senior judge, Justice Julius Ansa was overlooked because he had a few months to retire. He had been appointed to the Supreme Court in 2004. I say Justice Jones Doche was well noted for his judgment in the celebrated case of Gladys Mensa versus Stephen Mensa, in which the Supreme Court famously upheld the principle of equality in the sharing of marital property by spouses after divorce. On matters of corruption, he is often cited for describing the Alfred Agbeshiwoyome scandal as a plot to create loot and share the resources of the state. Create loot and share the resources of the state. In that political corruption case, Martin Alambisi Amidu versus Attorney General Alfred Woyome and others, 
the businessman. Woyome was paid judgment debt under dubious circumstances in the Mills administration. Martin Amidu got the Supreme Court to reverse the judgment even after he was fired as the Minister of Justice and Attorney General for fighting on the side of the state. Ose Justice Enim Yebwa made the headlines for his judgment in Ghana's first presidential election petition. In that petition, Nane Kufado challenged President Mohammed's election in 2012 and lost in a majority decision. Justice Enim Yebwa was of the view that the election should be annulled and a new election be held. He was the only one who went this far in his judgment. Though the two justices were neck to neck in their experience at the bench, Justice Doche was considered senior to Justice Enim Yebwa because he had been called to the bar two years before Justice Enim Yebwa became a lawyer. The speculations ended when the president finally announced the next chief justice. The lot fell on Justice Enim Yebwa. Into what I say, Justice Doche, any Justice Enim Yebwa, any one other judge, Justice Ansa, and Embra Edu said President Ekufo there was was selected chief justice. No, in Grofomi and saying nearby. Now so Justice Ansa no. Na on no be kwa retirement yon ye yini free mu. Inti ebe ka justice doche. Ene justice enin ye boa. Se wwa na president e kufwa do be selecte. E wwa na president e kufwa do. E koko selecte justice enin ye boa. Na tiye. O si. Justice enin ye boa's retirement was due in May 2023. When he turned 70. Justice Jones doche on the other hand turned 70 on June 8th 2023. And went on retirement. This meant that. At the time Justice Enin Yeboa was chosen ahead of Justice Jute in 2019, Justice Doche had no chance of ever becoming Chief Justice after Justice Enin, even if Ekufuado had him in mind. In the Omuni na ye 70 years of Omoko retirement, there is no way I said be yebema abrewa and a kokra babi di a kokra diye. Now, Tiha, or see the President, however, reportedly earmarked Justice Doche for another appointment and asked him not to worry about losing out on the topmost job at the judiciary. Inti, Justice Enim Yeboa ni Justice Docha wa moko for Chief Justice position at President Ekufa do dina ma Justice Enim Yeboa no. So promise ene sen anko debe manu, but later diko ma Justice Enim Yeboa. Eno katen so hudi e menshru, Chief Justice position na wenya ni menshru, mi Ekufa do mesan so ama wanada position biyo. Position ene edye yin, yin ken kaina he. I say the president, however, reportedly earmarked Justice Doche for another appointment and asked him not to worry about losing out on the topmost job at the judiciary. The president promised to make him the next speaker of parliament. In the, according to Manasi Azori in the book, no, President Ekufado promised Justice Doche after Olusu out as chief justice, no, President Ekufado promised him say, me, me ma wa dani speaker of parliament. A man is a promise. No, say men through. Men ma wababa better than the speaker of parliament. I say, according to sources close to the government, Professor Michael Kwe, the speaker in the Kufado's first term in office, would not be in that position in the second term. After President Kufado's 2020 re-election, he decided to fulfill his promise to Justice Jones Doche. In interviews for this book, multiple sources close to the president said that. President Ekufuado communicated his communication to Justice Doche. In my interview with the MPP MP for Bekwai and first deputy speaker of the eighth parliament, Joseph Osewusu, he confirmed that a Supreme Court judge called and told him that President Ekufuado had nominated him for the position of speaker. It's a manasse say, or ye, or ye, or be true book here, or ye interview, no. And no one say, indeed, President Ekufuado now has shared Justice Doche, but. So we be ba 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 than speaker of parliament. Emma, MPP MP for be quiet. Ah, we second deputy speaker no kra no. Onu kra confirm it. Emma now say no quarry. Supreme Court judge be frame ya wakati me say. Ekufu adu say we be man ba ba than speaker. Inti na kama mention ne kwa in senior parliament ati. Tia, tia. Now look at what happened, and it will explain why President Ekufu adu appointed. NS Jao to the Supreme Court. Because NS Jao ya ye kan wan se mi. Ono nende watina case ni sui. Na wano so. Ena yesu wa ye justice doche. Ne ba no. Wati ya siye. Ono no ye. Ne ba. Ase na kola. Now. Obi beka se. Ofan hino be mu. Obe ti ya siye. O si. A Supreme Court judge actually. Inti wei e ye. Joseph Osei Usu. A wakasa. Joe Weiss. 
I say a Supreme Court judge actually called me and said the president has asked him to contact me and that the president wanted to retain the speakership in parliament. And because of how close the numbers were, he decided to present that particular person, the Supreme Court judge who called. Is this Justice Doche? And I said, that is what I heard. I said, well, I said a Supreme Court judge. He said after a brief hesitation and chuckled, your conjecture is your word, not mine. He continued, when he told me, I spoke to the leadership and I spoke to Professor Michael Quay himself. And it appears that Professor Michael Quay upped his lobbying skills. I was surprised when he was nominated, re-nominated. In the President Ekufa the first term, there will be a no speaker, eh, Professor Michael Quay. In the second term, the President Ekufa Duka said, Professor Assistant Professor Michael Quay, not the comma justice doche because was shen ebo. Se anko be mana dani chief justice nan suwe nya. Ti si si adye mema o speaker. Nti wade koma justice joche. Nti wasi e hon anu jo wais. Sa a supreme court jaji fre no. E katre ne se se ne si. Ti e hon a jo wais so ko katre. Professor Michael Kwe se. Professor Michael Kwe. E kufa do no em se. Oni wun kwa second term biyo mo. O ko chusu supreme court jaji biyo. Ti e hon a professor Michael Kwe. Nsu koko hun wun MPP for the pressure to omo. So se. Hey. E kufa do kwa ako fa jaji. Ye can MPP for MPP for a judge no one yin and him so ye MPP neither. Me Professor Michael Queen and my Juma MPP in Tia Hona MPP for the pressure, but so President Kufado so. Enna Professor Michael Queen, ye retaining no, would ye read it? Yen can kind. Or say multiple highly placed sources confirmed to me that a Kufado had nominated Justice Jones Doche in late December 2020. The nomination was communicated to him with an instruction to resign as a justice of the Supreme Court and prepare for the January state election and swearing in. Tia Katre Justice Doche Krana said one resigning from Supreme Court or now one prepare to be swearing in. The judge accepted the nomination but asked for an official letter on which to base his resignation. He argued that he could not act without a letter in hand, but the letter was yet to be sent to him when he heard in the first week of January that Professor Michael Kwe had been retained as the president's nominee for speaker. In the case of President Ekufa, the Catra Justice Joche said, resigned from the Supreme Court. And the case said, hey, what do you have a letter? Now I'm going to say, indeed, what do you have a letter? I'm going to say, hey, or a judge, judge, no, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Inti wache yi leta na no koko tse se yesi ye ye chusi Professor Michael Kwe na abiyo mu. Inti wase indeed, Professor Michael Kwe lobbied. Even when his party nominated him, he reached out to the minority side to lobby. The minority chief whip, Mohamed Muntaka Mubarak, was surprised when Professor Michael Kwe called him to ask for his support shortly after the 2020 election. The two had had a frosty relationship in the seventh parliament, and Muntaka thought he was the last person Michael Kwe would reach out to for support. So, what should I say? Professor Michael Kwe say, say, President Ekufa do Ekofa Justice Ducheno, or no Professor Michael Kwe or lobby, or Kohu MPP for Nyo Mokasai, say, hey, Ekufa do Peso Fa, where you, Moman and Sesan Adrian, Essanson NDC for Crack or Kasai, say, Mon support me, Mon support me. Professor Michael Kwe, Juma or Boy, no, no. Now, let's come to the story. I see. Joseph Osei also guessed right when he said Professor Michael Kwe upped his lobbying. He may have lobbied the party to power pressure on the president. For insiders said President Ekufado's decision to drop Justice Doche for Professor Michael Kwe has stemmed from pressure from the party. See, I say, the MR President Ekufado have to obey drop Justice Doche for Michael Kwe and he said, MPP for chances some of the pressure. Michael Kwe koko hu omu ninti no. MPP for chances some of the pressure to Ekufado so. I said, their main argument centered on Martin Amidu, a non-party member who had disappointed the president when he was appointed a special prosecutor. Martin Amidu had fallen out with the president, resigned and written a damning essay accusing the president of being the mother corruption serpent. In the MPP for year, yeah, I'm going to make a call for the Professor Michael Kui, a judge as his duty, and he said, she Martin Amidu, and she done a party me, and I'll call for no. Wun ni mwa siyo de brewo. Justice do che yin so no. Yen shede ni mno so ye MPP ni. Wun so wako wako promese ni sa wabe mani speaker si position. Wun ni na wode kwa mani na leto wabe guwe ni mwa siya wabe ye deni. Siya no. En a leta. Eme kufwa do wabe disaidi ya se. Osi the party's leaders agreed. That justice do che. 
leaned towards the MPP, but they were dealing with an unprecedented situation. A parliament with only one member majority, it was dangerous therefore to experiment. The MPP and the government needed someone who had been tested, one who could be counted on to bulldoze his way through should the government's business face obstacle in the house. Michael Quay had done that. They knew his work. The president might trust Justice Duce, but what if he turned out to be a, a moderate and would not do the government's bidding all the time? What would they do if they turned out to be another Martin Amidu? With that argument, President Ekufado dropped Justice Duce and went in for Professor Michael Quay. In Tosi, the president later told some top officials of the government that dropping Justice Duce was one of his most regrettable political decisions. Just President Ikufado, up till now, some of Catherine Crawford said Justice Duce was promising. Send a copeman that needs speaker of parliament a one man and a no. A yadi or no Ikufado a shinepan a yen a yase. One man Justice Duce and a new speaker. Natiha, I see Gabi Asario Trilaku told me that President Ikufado had regretted appointing Martinamido as special prosecutor. According to Gabi, the president's regret had nothing to do with Martin Amidu's work, but how he behaved and finally resigned. He said Ekufuado had appointed him because Amidu had demonstrated enough commitment to fight against corruption, and the fact that he did not belong to the MPP made his appointment as the first special prosecutor even more appropriate. Amidu, during his resignation, said Ekufuado thought he, Martin Amidu, would be his poodle. As a top MPP politician who did not want to be named, argued that if Ekufuado had kept Justice Doche's nomination for the speaker position, the MPP's choice for speaker would have won. Some NDC MPs from the Volta region, the home region of Justice Doche, would have voted for him. Now, it comes to uh, the Justice Jehu. Let's come to Justice Jehu. Into will be able to Justice Jehu, yeah. Yeah, then I go to the Supreme Court and they also can rule in it. And also, I say, I'm going to say, I'm Justice Jehu's elevation to the Supreme Court shocked many and drew more criticism. Some judges have served diligently, risen to the Court of Appeal, and have since been stuck. Other deserving ones are making time, waiting to be elevated to the High Court or the Court of Appeal, but have been overlooked many times because they do not catch the eyes of the politicians. I say, having lost out on the positions of Chief Justice and the Speaker of Parliament, President Ekufado decided to placate Justice Doche. Sources say, appointing Justice Doche's protege to the Supreme Court, despite the criticisms and the obstacles Justice N.S. Gau faced at the Vetting Committee of Parliament was to appease Justice Duce for the disappointments he had suffered. And so that is how Manasseh Azori puts it in his book. Says, Ah, judge ya ende. On also ka rule in the way to Ababe Troni, Dinya, no kuja to Ababe Posti, ah, ye can answer me. Sa judge, the anti Ekufa do appointing no edical Supreme Court, and say, Ekufa do ap e promise, ne papa. In quotes, ne papa, sen an kobe mano position as speaker of parliament. We nya mano, inti na wo ye bibia mane bano, na aso papa nini. Se disappointment ami disappointi wo no, ma ye bibia ma obano, inti menso we ni. This is Manasseh Azori's book. And, eh, uh, okuja tonson se mwa waka eno. Ene e diaba. We are not, we are not being prejudiced. But, that is the case. However, you want to see it, see it that way. Don't forget your comment box, Nimo. But that's it. I wish you a full day, a full day. You will be covered by Unidex TV. So, send that idea. I think I am already answered with me. If you are subscribed, but you should not subscribe enough. What like it? Now, with me, I send with your comment. What's in between? You know, it's your boy, Captain to the Planet. I'm here to talk to you about Unidex TV. Please subscribe to Unidex TV. Subscribe.